what up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly truly grateful uh, to those who have been coming back to watch my videos thank you so much and if you're new here please do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button so we can go on this motorcycle vlogging journey together so guys today i'm back with another video and in this video i'm going to talk about some simple maintenance jobs that you can do on your motorcycle when you own a machine especially one that you've been wanting for a long time and you finally be able to afford it it's not just about hopping on and riding every day there's quite a bit of maintenance you have to do to get a bike running smoothly to serve the purpose for which you bought it so today i'm going to talk about a few maintenance tips that you can do by yourself you don't really need to take it to the dealership or a mechanic i'm sure mechanics or dealerships are not going to like this but they are actually a lot of things that you can do on your motorcycle by yourself and you don't have to take it to a specialist but for simple daily maintenance to ensure that your bike runs smoothly you can definitely do by yourself if you don't know how to do it just with a bit of confidence and with watching a few youtube videos a few tutorials on how to i'm sure you'll be able to do it if i can do it you can do it too so stay tuned all right so guys the first thing i'd like to talk about is uh, maintenance of the chain on your motorcycle so maintaining the chain on your motorcycle is a must for anyone who owns a motorcycle unless you have the shaft drive uh, as long as your bike runs on the chain as its final drive you are definitely going to need to be maintaining the chain in order to have it running smoothly and to last longer and maintaining the chain entails cleaning the chain and oiling it with chain lubricant now you don't want to use just ordinary um, engine oil or any kind of oil or something like that you definitely want to use a lubricant meant for for lubricating uh, chains and specifically motorcycle chains so that you can uh, have your chain running smoothly all the time so, so as you know there are tons of chain lubricants out there so you pick whatever suits you but i typically clean my chain after i see that the oil has washed off after riding it in the rain or uh, just when i see that the chain needs oiling i oil it and every now and then periodically i would clean the chain and put on new lubricant so cleaning your chain is a must if you ride your motorcycle especially in the rain and in bad weather so it is something you can do just you need to watch a few tutorial videos and you'll be able to do it by yourself you don't have to take it to a mechanic to do it for you because that's going to cost you money get the cleaning tools yourself get your own lubricant there are so many brands out there any lubricant that you think works best for you i'm not going to recommend any there are so many lubricants some might work for you some might not be suitable for you choose what suits you best but maintaining your chain is an absolute must if you have a motorcycle the next thing i'll talk about guys here is washing your bike now this might seem unimportant but i would say it's very important because it's a motorcycle and there are many open parts and if you wash your bike yourself then you know where the water is going um, if you take it to a car wash and the pressure washer is used then whoever is washing might not know parts of the bike that you don't want water to seep through but if you wash it yourself even with a pressure washer then you know exactly where the water is going and you'll be careful not to spray it into parts that you don't want it to go so it's very important that you wash your bike yourself if you don't have that opportunity that's fine but if you're washing it at home is best and if you're using a pressure washer you know where you are spraying the water and you're very careful with that but don't get me wrong the pressure washer is very very good for keeping your bike really clean but it's better if you do it yourself then you don't have to worry about water getting into parts of the bike that you do want it to get to usually when i wash my bike i am very careful when i get to the steering part because these parts where you have openings the water can seep through and over time it will corrode or um, cause less contact of metals in there so i'm always very careful and i spray a bit further away when i get to the steering part and also the the seat 
So when you get to the seat, you want to be careful because then water can go through these parts and seep under the seat and you don't want it water going in there because there are a lot of electronics such as the battery and all that so you want to be careful how you wash your bike i know that the manufacturers do a good job uh, making sure that important parts are sealed and protected from the weather but still you don't want to get a pressure wash too close to the to certain parts because water is going to go inside and over time it might cause some problems so just something to take note of let me also quickly add that when you wash your bike yourself you know what microfiber cloth you're using a soft and a gentle one so you don't scratch parts such as your windshield and your headlights and uh, turn signals and brake lights uh, this is also very important because if the right towels are not used over time you're going to see lots of scratches and it's going to deface these surfaces so another reason why you want to be careful and wash the bike yourself because over time it's going to prove to be useful another maintenance tip is changing your brake pads so this might seem a bit intimidating at first but if you go through a few tutorials you should be able to change your, them yourselves um, this will save you quite a bit of money because usually when you go to change your brake pads you will buy the brake pads and then you have to pay for workmanship as well so with a bit of confidence i'm pretty sure you'll be able to change your brake pads yourself it only takes about 15 20 minutes if you have the right tools once you have the tools you buy the brake pads you watch some tutorials you can do it yourself with a bit of confidence but word of caution if you know you are not confident enough please 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 take it to the dealership or to a workshop to get it done for you but if you're up to the task you can definitely do it by yourself it's not too difficult and changing brake pads work almost the same on almost all bikes so if you're confident enough give it a try and you should be able to do it yourself and this will save you some money and before I leave guys let me leave you a bonus tip regarding the chain so whenever you are cleaning and lubricating your chain you want to check the tension in your chain as well and if it's too loose you want to adjust your chain to conform with the manufacturer's specification this is also very important to ensure that the chain runs properly and to ensure the longevity of your chain so guys that's all for this video these were a few maintenance tips that you can do on your motorcycle without needing a professional to do them for you um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the comment section. If you're new here, do me a favor, click the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together. Thank you so much for watching guys. Till I see you in the next video, ride legal, ride safe always. Peace.